we're back and we're shifting things around as we move into our next segment. Of course, uh, once you see the barrel is out, we're talking about travelers and their products with Jordan. Hi, Hi. how are you? Good, good. Good morning, Belize. I feel like we haven't seen you in a long time. Was the <laughs> last time I the, was it the last time you were in a Santa suit? I don't know. I'm not sure. Mm. I don't remember. <laughs> but you're back in time to give us some recipes for the long weekend. Correct. Yeah. All right. What we whipping up today? Okay. Since it's um, Benefactors Day weekend, we're gonna feature our Baron Gin. We're gonna be making two mm. drinks using our Baron Gin. A blended drink and a shaken drink. Mm -hmm. Let's start with the shaken. Okay. So the Baron Gin is uh, one of your products that you've put out on the line for how long now? It's Been about out. four years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you find a lot of gin drinkers? Uh, for the most part, yeah. certain areas, yes. But certain areas, people prefer different stuff. Yeah. So who drink gin in Belize then? Which area? Um, <laughs> well, they use this for a lot of stuff. Some people use it like to mix bitters Okay. as well. Uh -huh. um, it depends on some people. Well, Belizeans are not used to the gin taste itself. Yeah. But it's a way how you blend it. Once they taste certain blends, they then tend they to appreciate like it. it. Yeah. yeah. So what we're going to use is three ounces of Baron Gin. And these drinks that I'm going to make are really nice. You're going to enjoy it. Anybody that tastes them, going to love them. Yeah, I like gin. And most people say, oh, I don't like the taste of it. But No, no. This is a really smooth gin. Gin, you can smell it yourself. Yeah, yeah. We get the um, concentrate. We import the concentrate, actually, and we do our blending here. Okay. So we're we start off with gin. Right. And we're going to use three ounces of pink grapefruit juice. So we got the gin and juice starter. We're gonna use half a lime. Uh-huh. And this is gonna be called the Baron Fizz. That's it? Almost, That's the shaken no. part? Shaken. So we start off with some gin, some pink grapefruit juice, and some lime. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's the best mixer for gin? For me, for me, um, I drink it with the pink grapefruit and the tonic water, like what I'm going to do right now. Oh. And it's really good. Now we're going to drop a cherry at the bottom of each glass. Please, thank you. That's gonna add just a little bit of sweet to it, I guess. Yeah, and a bit, bit of garnish. Yeah. Then to top it off, we're gonna add the pink tonic water all the way to the top. Sorry, that one was already open. There we go. You still got your bartender tricks. Tonic. Oh, that looks pretty. We're calling this the Baron Fizz. Fizz. Perfect for the celebration this weekend. Yep, it's refreshing. It's light. You can sip on it all day. Um, it's mainly uh -huh. juice. And it's not and too water. sweet, right? No, no, no. Yeah. Because of the um, pink grapefruit, the tannic water, and the lime, it's yeah. more tangy. Uh -huh. It's really good. Oh, that means you really can drink more of it as well. Yeah. So that's our first recipe out, a shake and drink, and that's uh, a gin and tonic mixed with a gin and juice. <laughs> now what we're going to do up. next is a blended drink. Mm -hmm. One second. So tell us what's going on with Travelers at the moment. Okay, um, currently we are working on our new 
branding for the um, one barrel and the done tomorrow. It's uh -huh. going to be in a new bottle, new label. It's going to be officially launched the 22nd of this month. We're inviting you guys to come out. It's going to be at the museum mm -hmm. at two and a half miles Philip Golson Highway, the media I'm talking about. <laughs> um, it's not an open event, I'm sorry. Correct. <laughs> uh, it's going to be really nice. The Don Amaro is going to be packaged really nice to meet international standards in a box. Um, wow. You have to see like to believe top, it. That's like your top, top of the line traveler's product, right? Correct. Yeah. And so uh, I know that you, we've been hearing that people say they can't get it, but they'll be able to get it by the end of this month. Yep. Currently, we're out of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people is waiting and wanting it. Mm -hmm. However, we won't have until the end of this month. Mm. So don't when worry, you save it, your money. It's gonna look even fancier, so yep. it's worth the wait. Yeah, because we're working on exporting it as well, so we're rebranding it for international market. Awesome. And yep. the one barrel too? That's getting yep. a, a new outfit. We're standardizing our barrel rums. Um, the five barrel already had a black label on it. Well, we're gonna put the same black label on the one barrel. So the one, and then we're gonna eventually do it, do the same to the three. So the one, the three, and the five are all going to be black label. Oh, so everybody will know what they're picking up. All right. Okay. We're going to use two ounces of coconut cream. Two ounces of mm. pineapple juice, pineapple squash. Don't worry, it's not I a was pina gonna colada. Say, are we making a pin? Yeah. No, no, no. Is it going to taste like one? No, no, no. Because the gin has a different taste. taste. Yeah. And then we're going to add more stuff like the triple sec, okay. half ounce of triple sec. Mm, mm, mm. We're going to use like half ounce to an ounce of blue curacao, depending on it. It's to get it light blue. Oh, because that's exactly how our seas look uh, around this time of year. Correct. Uh -huh. What's this one called? Blissfully blue. Blissfully blue. I love it. Half a lime, which is different than your pina colada. Yeah. The triple sec. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And some more ice, a bit more. So we got ice, we got coconut cream, we have pineapple juice. Triple sec, blue curacao. And we're gonna add the gin afterwards. I was gonna say, yeah. you're missing a very important ingredient there. No, no, I'm gonna add it in a bit. <laughs> you want more blue? One second, we're gonna add some more. All right, now the gin goes in. How much are you putting in? Like two and a half ounces of gin. This is for two servings that I'm doing here. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. Can I get some more blue, please? Thank you. So our blissfully blue isn't quite as blue as yet. It's looking like the shallow waters. We want it to look like <laughs> the deep water. I'm not sure if it's gonna get too deep. <laughs> And that's it? Yeah, that's it. Very easy to make. Yeah. What you need, your spoon? Just in case. Yeah, here you go. You got this covered, man, Jordan. You're, you're the experienced bartender. Oh, that looks delicious. That's like a dessert. Pineapple, coconut cream. So if you like pina coladas, you're gonna like this. All right. Bombo straw. Already dressed. Yeah, and to garnish some cherries. Here you have it. Blissfully blue and barren fizz. Correct. Those are some beautiful colors there. Definitely easy recipes that you can try at home. 
Jordan, thank you so much for coming in and sharing these recipes. I'm sure somebody can try them over the weekend and, and unwind and relax. And uh, most importantly, they can look out for the brand new products. Well, the brand new version of the products that you're putting out uh, end of the month. Correct. So if you've been trying to get your Dona Mario rum, don't worry, you'll be able to get it by the end of March. Thank you again. Thank you too. That's it for us with Traveler's Cocktails. We'll take a break and we'll be back in a few.